ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, presented by Modelo. How many times do you think you've watched the first fight? I've probably watched it 25 times now. What are your feelings on it? Like you watched it 25 times. Imagine how irritated he probably was each and every time he watched it. Because, you know, people be talking crazy. That This fight definitely was stopped early. However, the the round would have been a 10-8 for Usman. But still, you could have let him go out in a shield, right? I'm getting more and more into this fight. You know what? I want to see Usman lose it, right? I just don't think it's going to happen necessarily. I'll have my prediction video up, up by tomorrow. But yeah, I can't freaking wait for this this weekend. Really can't freaking wait for this weekend. A lot of good fights, that's for sure. I'm sick of saying it. Let's just get to it. That first round, you know, I came out real hard and I wasn't really patient. And I, and I kind of was in that, you know, feeling and thought process where, you know, I want to get him out quick. And, you know, I just want it to be over with because this isn't the best me. So let's try and, you know, shock the world and, and make it. Is Colby's wrestling better than Kamaru's? You know what I mean? I think Kamaru's going to have the edge on the striking, especially after his last performance. KO and Masvidal like that. It's pretty wicked. Oh, just calm down. You can't come up here. Quit it. I'm trying to do something. It's not how you fight when you're at this level on the top of the world. and You, you know, you're fighting one of the best guys. So. Do you guys something. had a lot of uh, talk going up about it. Is there any emotions right now? Or are you just like, you're in the zone so much, you're not really feeling emotional? Yeah, at this moment, I'm just in the zone. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just blocking out all the fans, blocking out all the media, blocking out all the hype going to the fight. I'm just going out there to... You know, create my own destiny and, and put on show for the people. What is your strategy on like the first 20 seconds of a fight? And, and what kind of like information are you digesting about him this early on in the bout? I think early on, I'm just kind of seeing what he's coming with. Like I said, I've watched this fight now two good times within the last couple weeks. And like I was saying, people were talking crazy about this fight. People were forgetting how close it was. Colby was hurting him with shots and everything else, so it just reminded me. Just reminded me that we're in for one hell of a fight. Kamaru's hardest fight to date, without a doubt. You know, it was apparent right away that he didn't want to wrestle me, so you know, I knew I wasn't gonna wrestle him, so it was just gonna be a striking fight. And I, I wanted to put more volume on him. Kicks the body by Colby, and here's that pace. Nice right hand over the top. I know. Like going into the fight, you kind of felt like it was you versus the world, or did you feel like it was you just versus Kamaru? But then the way in which the fight unfolded, that's when the feeling of like, oh, I was fighting more than Kamaru on the first one. As hated as Colby was going in there, there was people still chanting for him. People still chanting. It was for against him. the world, you know. The narratives that they've tried to run about me, there's just there's no real substance to it, you know. And I didn't feel like the fans really appreciated what I'm doing and what I'm trying to to accomplish for them and, and put on a show for them and it just it feels like I'm the most handed man in the UFC you know and, and I probably am and, and, and you know and, but I get a lot of pride in that and overcoming all those circumstances and still being able to go out there and put on a show and put on one of the greatest fights in the history of this company oh. Look at the Try jumbo shot. I mean, the, I just dropped him, wobbled him. Not dropped him. I just wobbled him a couple times a minute before that. I'm starting to put my pressure and momentum on him. He's starting to break a little bit. I kick him clearly in the liver right there with one of my best kicks, my jumping kick to the liver. And it's clear as day. The whole Look at that. Right above the waistline. Yeah, that that's another thing. I'm pretty sure that was a fake nut shot. Colby had everything behind that kick. A jumping kick right to the body. So, you know he was hurting. I don't think it moved his cup any. He gets a two-minute recovery God, my to catch dog's his breath. So bad. It changes the momentum. Everybody knows in sports, Brett, momentum. Stay huge. down it and takes quit. Takes momentum away. It takes away everything in a sporting event. And that's what he did. He just took away my momentum. I probably would have won the fight because he was hurt in that moment. I would have poured on more pace, and he wouldn't have been able to withstand it. Oh, towards the end of the round. I think I broke my jaw. Another thing, I thought he had. He said his jaw was broke on that one interview. 
But then it never was, and it is. I guess it really don't matter. Because if it was broke, he proved he could fight with a broken jaw. And he proved he had a chin in regard. Good feelings in between that, that, uh, that third and fourth round. Uh, you know, it definitely wasn't broken. He landed a clean strike. It was a good strike, but it was not a broken jaw. And, and uh, what I'm feeling is just, you know, is I'm, I'm tougher than anybody. I can endure anything. And I, I know deep down inside, I'm, I'm not breaking. That punch was like a piston, too. Didn't look like he really stepped into that punch. He stepped into that Masvidal knockout with that right. I'll tell you that. It's kind of scary. You know, he's hurting people with arm punches out here. Spirit, my will is unbreakable. The most difficult thing to overcome is just myself. Everything that is stacked against me, all the people that hate me, all the people that try and think they know me, but no one really knows me. I, I, I let them see what I what I want to show them. I don't show them the true me. They, they don't know the true me. So this is just about overcoming myself and all the situation and the journey that I've been through. I think Colby's character is funny, to be honest. I think it's brilliant. You know, he saved his own career going hill. The dude's a genius, without a doubt. What, where do you feel like you kind of lost uh, control here in this fifth round, though? Like, what happened to, to like, even lead to that point where Mark is thinking about stopping the fight? Oh, you know, I slipped on a banana peel. You know, I, yeah. made, I made a mistake. I tactical a banana with my hands down and... and you know, I slept on a banana peel and, and, you know, we went to the mat, though, in our first wrestling exchange. I, I, that's a position I've been on since I was a five-year-old kid, Brett. I'm, I'm in on a single leg. I'm on a double leg. Like, that's a position that I feel comfortable in. And, you know, as we sign up to fighting. This this isn't – we're not playing volleyball, Brett. We're not playing basketball. We're playing fighting. It's, it's kill or be killed in that moment. Like, if Goddard was going to stop it, he should have stopped it when he was dropped. Really. Because he didn't have to stop it there. He just kind of covered his head, you know, because he's eating shots. But he was just about to posture up, I'm sure. Like he just said, he's been wrestling since he was five years old. Can you even remember? Can, can, you, can you put into words, like, what what you're thinking there? Yeah, devastated. Okay. Devastated, man. My whole life, you know, I worked for this moment. You know, I've been working since I was six, seven years old in the wrestling room and dreaming of this day and this moment. I told my parents, you know, Noel and Brad Covington, that I wanted to be a world champion since I was a seven-year-old kid. I dreamed and envisioned of this moment, and here it is, and I don't get a fair shake. I thought it was going to be a fair level playing field. It wasn't a level playing field. It was tilted. What I've learned to realize is, you know, everybody has an opinion, and... and most of the time they stink and, and you know I just it's not my opinion and, and it's not going to define me because it is what it is that's life and, but we, I know in round 2 November 6th in Madison Square Garden we're going to get me tomorrow we are one day closer Thank you for watching I'm getting ESPN. out of here UFC 268 I'm getting out of here my dog shut up my dog's terrible see you next time